Hello friends, I am Chandi Charan and you are watching Technological Logic. In today's video, I am going to share with you some of the most interesting facts and figures about the term electrons. You guys must be amazing what electron is, but you should know that it's magic. Electron plays the role of magician for the whole universe. I will fetch all the data and all the related information about electrons in front of you. Continue with me. So first of all, electrons. Suppose if you take any object, a pen, a book, a mobile phone, a laptop, anything. For, for example, if you take this pen, you uh, open it, you break it from here, cut it from here, then again cut it, again cut it, again cut it. You cut it almost millions and trillions times. So you will get a, a small piece of molecules. That is not two electron. Then again, that molecule can't be broken easily by uh, naked hands. For that, you need some special electronic beam to cut it. By the way, if it were possible to cut it from that in there itself, you will find small electrons, but not that two that will be combined in electron, not a single, that will be combined to form an, an atom. So ultimately, you will find an atom by cutting it into pieces and pieces and pieces. But inside that atom, you will find electron. But where? Actually, it is not fixed. Its location is never fixed. You can simply not say that, oh, take a look, here is the electron. It's moving at what speed? Speed of light. You can't determine its position and speed at the same uh, time. Well, by the way, uh, if you could locate an electron within an atom, how would it look? Was, was, uh, is it uh, just something like an object, like uh, spherical in shape or rectangular in shape or whatsoever? But you should know that electron can play the whole universe and the everything, each and every moment of our life, whatsoever phenomena are occurring. For example, I am creating my video. It is being transferred through electromagnetic waves to the main server, to the YouTube channel. And finally, uploading after uploading procedure, it gets loaded into binary bits, one and zeros, into the main server of YouTube. All these phenomena, all these electronic, electrical, mechanical, scientific, technical, technological, every phenomena is caused by electrons. But how? I will explain that. Well, first of all, you should know that electron is never stable. It is always moving. It is moving and moving continuously, rapidly, at, the, at a rapid speed of velocity of light. So, for example, if you take the example of a fan rotating, if you take the example of any bike, if you take example of trains, all are containing motors. So how the motor is moving? How is it rotating? Well, that's the work of electron. It is moving in the form of wires, into the wires. It is moving, generating magnetic field, generic, generating electric field, fluctuations, deviations, electromagnetic waves. Each and everything can be generated through the flow of electrons. It's especially what we say, uh, the pattern, pattern, frequency, range, and in what way the electron is moving we can control the whole universe. For a simple example, we will take the example AC and DC, alternating current and direct current. In DC, like in, uh, uh, you might be knowing uh, the battery, it's a DC current provider. It is con continuously providing a constant velocity of electron, but that too is not very simple. That is quite complex. It is actually oscillating time and forth here and there like that but ultimately in overall average it is moving straight that's why it is DC voltage now take the consider consider an example of AC current actually you should know that 11 kilovolt 11 kV of power is being generated in the main power plant generator so that power is always generated in AC why not AC that is transferred even even up to, uh, up to our household applications it's to 20 volt but that is AC. So there is some importance, important implications of AC. For example, if the current is DC, you cannot convert it into higher or lower voltages using transformers. Because you should know that in transformer, you need electric and magnetic field to, to get flux, then only higher or lower voltage can be generated. 
so you should know uh, so all these facts and figure indicates that electrons is the only cause of current electron is the only cause which is controlling each and every modern technology in the world so now ac current in ac obviously there there will be fluctuation of ac uh, of electron like this and this it will rapidly oscillate back and forth like this it will displace slight bit but not comfortably Take, uh, talking about the graph its graph it will be sometimes positive as well as negative positive negative so continuously it will be rotating uh, from positive aspect to negative one well now the most important thing you are talking in your mobile you are using internet how are these things connected to electrons well electromagnetic waves at a particular frequency can be transferred to higher distances but how to generate that electromagnetic field well by oscillating by moving by accelerating an electron back and forth rapidly you can generate electromagnetic wave but the frequency at which you are oscillating the electron and controlling the uh, electromagnetic wave frequency in that way you can transfer your uh, voice your video your internet everything can be transferred quite easily so that is quite uh, magical electron is obviously magical well if you liked my video please click on the like button and if you yet not subscribe to my channel please subscribe because in this way i will be providing a lot of technical videos in my next videos thank you